You know what? YOLO Heal Ball. If it catches, it's on the team. You get one try, buddy. That was a very simple decision. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Let's play and let's play we shall. Look at our beautiful team. It's so Sano. It's so Sano. I love it. Uh, I have not gotten to look at the trainer card yet. So uh, let's take a little peekaboo at that. And there we go. We got the classic. The classic Gen 4 look. Heck yes. I can only imagine that that trainer sprite, or rather model, will change once we get some character customization. We got the badges. Oh my god. I... Can you, like... Can we polish these still? Can we play the music? Like, the... Where they each make a little different uh, tone? I mean, like, I would love that. Look at all the... Look at all the gym leaders, man. Oh. So great. Dude, I wish that I could, like... I don't know. Motion control sign my trainer card. I love doing that on the bottom screen of the DS. We got the Pokedex. Ooh. Oh, that's so nostalgic. It's so nostalgic. It really is crazy how much they, like... They, like, really replicated the Gen 4 UI, and I honestly like it. I really, really like it. I'm not sure that's going to be for everyone, but, like, I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that's interesting. All right, cool. Very nice. We got town map, which we already had a little bit of a look at. Very fluid. Very fluid. Oh, the beautiful post-game islands. You know, I feel like people do not give Sinnoh enough credit for having an entire post-game island. I mean, like, I know it's not anything crazy, but I mean, we got some jamming tunes in there. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a nice chunk of post-game. Hey, Josh, tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Ooh, rival team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this translates very nicely. This translates very nicely. Uh, you're gonna have a Turtwig, actually. Hmm. Ew. Do I try and, like, bait Torrent? That seems like a slippery slope. Alright, let's, um... Yeah, let's go Water Gun, I guess. We're plus two special attack now, so... I don't know, are we gonna do that much to, uh, Turtwig? Maybe Turtwig uses Leafage turn one, puts us into Torrent? I mean, we do have 20 special attack, that's pretty good. Charm. Oh, am I gonna want Charm? That's actually kind of interesting. Oh, I'm getting that mixed up with something else. Attract. I'm getting that mixed up with Attract. It's interesting that we get Charm. Yeah, I'll take it over Growl. It's just better Growl. Yeah, I'm, I think we're gonna get Leafage into Torrent. I think that, that means we need to two-shot it with one of the hits being Torrent. That might be doable. Maybe. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Cock. Water gun. Oh. Oh. Withdraw. Okay. This is fine. I think we could kill it next turn here if we get leafaged. No. We might be able to kill here still. Leafage? Wow, this is just like normal. Uh, <laughs> this is just like normal DP. DPPT. Barry's just obsessed with withdraw for some reason. I, I do not know why. Very nice. Good levels. Good levels. Is Badoo daytime that needs the friendship? I actually need to look that up. Badoo. Dude, mad levels. Yep, daytime. So we are in the day right now. We'll probably just stick around daytime for a bit. Maybe eventually we can... Uh, We can get Roselli, that'd be good. Wow! What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm gonna be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. 
The first thing I had to do is to take on the Orbrick City Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that totally. All right, buddy. Pokemon Center is the other way. I don't... I really don't think there's anything new here. I'm not going to lie. I really don't think there's anything new here. I really don't think there's anything new here. Okay, so we can catch Abra, but I'm not really... Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to catch Abra. I think I want to keep this team either Sinnoh exclusive or something in the underground that you wouldn't be able to catch in Sinnoh like vanilla. You know what I mean? Like, I think that would be cool. Also, it'd be cool to find some Pokemon that, like, evolve from, like, new Sinnoh evolutions, like your Magmortars, Electiviers, and Nose Passes of the world. Well, I don't know if I'd want to use Nose Pass, Proba Pass, but, you know, hey, it's a candidate. It's a candidate. It's a candidate for sure. I like a little Galactic Elliot. Well, Galactic Elliot Nose Pass, Proba Pass on my team, maybe. Maybe not. You know... These levels make me feel like we can, uh, we can probably bust out Badoo, maybe. We do have some, uh, oh god. We do have some flying types coming through. Not only Zubat, but, you know, Starly, but... I don't know, I, I think, uh, I think it, Badoo's time has come. Badoo's time might, uh, it's, it may have come. You have anything? You know, I'm very quickly adjusting to this very chibi aesthetic. I actually am. Uh, quicker than I may have thought, to be honest. There's a hidden item somewhere here. No, maybe not. I'm trying to think. There are some good items here. There are definitely some good items. Though I'm Starly. Cricketot! I don't really have a lot for you either. And you are probably going to struggle bug me. Okay, uh, let's see what we have right now. Dude, both Cricketot and Badoo are both like... Yeah, they're jamming, man. Yeah, you know, this is probably a switch, to be honest. This is probably a switch. Once this thing becomes a Rosalia, then that, that that's good stuff. Then that's good stuff. But until then, a little, little, little rough. Absorb is not fantastic, you know? Is it 40 in this game? Ew. Ew. Okay. Good. Learn something. Learn something. In next battle, I'll check the power of Absorb. Oh, hello. That was odd. But do perfect. Kind of tempts to growth, but also like Starly is probably coming out after. Yeah, it's 20 in this game. That's a little rough. That's a <laughs> that's a little rough. I think it's always been 20, so. It's just kind of how it is, I guess. So. Question of the day for you guys. Question of the day, question of the day. What is your favorite beginning of the game Sinnoh Pokemon? Because we've pretty much caught all of them at this point. Are you going to murder me? I don't know if you're going to murder me. Let's see what we can do. No, we, we can't. No, not good. My personal favorite... Not counting the starters, that will be my personal definition. It's got to be Starly. Starly is the quintessential part of the Sinnoh starter pack bird Pokemon. And not only that, it is arguably the best beginning of the game bird. Even with some really good bird Pokemon in the last few generations. You know, uh, Corviknight. I forgot about that. Corviknight, Toucanon, Talonflame, all really fantastic. At the same time, oh, you used Growl on me. Or Intimidate or something. Can I not check my current status? Huh, they got rid of that. But yeah, I think there's something to be said for that. I mean, I would say definitely the best beginning of the game, Bird. Speaking of which, 
F it. Let's just use it here. <laughs> As, it has sort of earned its temporary team slot membership. Do I have a paralyzed heal? I have two. All right, I'll use that after. Because that's just annoying. You know what? I'm interested in the uh, evolution screen. I have no idea what that looks like. All right. We're going to heal that up for sure. I will say, I think cumulatively, Sinnoh has the best early game Pokemon. And for that reason, I think if they're just so popular, it's they've uh, maybe gotten a little old. But also, they're still so good. I don't think that takes that away from them. Yeah, we're literally going to battle everyone. I believe if you don't catch anything and you just battle all trainers, like all trainers, on the way to Rourke, you end up at like level 13, which is like crazy. We've been catching a lot, so we're going to be a little bit higher than that, but uh, that's just in general like crazy. Dude. Badoo is kind of rough here, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> The dude is kind of rough. Okay, that was with the crit. All right. You're still eating, though. You're still eating. I'll give that to you. Uh, plus two absorb. All right. Hey, you know what? You go, buddy. You go. Buddy, Badu. Buddy, Badu. I think we're getting a lot from this. 70. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, team, the levels uh, really level out. They like really level out. Oh my God. Dude. They give you... They give you Krikatops evolution so early. Wait, I need to hear this. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Yes. Blast that shit in my ears, brother. Oh, my God. Dude. How bad is Krikatoon? Can I use Krikatoon a little bit? Oh, come on, man. I don't think I've ever evolved into a Krikatoon in my life. <laughs> oh my god. It's level... I thought it was 15 or 16. You know what? This thing has 85 attack and 65 speed. That's not bad. I kind of want to use this thing. Wait, plus attack's actually really good. And has Swarm, which is Bug-type Torrent. Yo. Dude, I don't care. I'm using this. This is the only time in the game where I could use it. And I'll have some kind of utility, right? Oh, wow. That's sensitive. That's a sensitive vision. I get it, but also, still. Dude, that's so sick. That was literally such a surprise to me. Oh, you're going to have Intimidate. God damn it. Oh my god. This is Krikatoon's episode, y'all. I don't care. I'm using Fury Cutter. I don't even care. Fury Cutter's the one that gets stronger each turn, right? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Why does there have to be a rock gym coming up? You know, honestly, maybe we'll keep Krikatoon around until, like, uh... Gardenia. I mean, Gardenia, this will definitely be useful for that. This will be Krikatoon's time to shine. I mean, when the hell else would I use a Krikatoon, right? Like, we could have a very fluid team, and I'm very, I'm very cool with that idea, you know? You know, I really didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to avoid grass tiles, man. Rappel! Cool. Now, is there anything cool? I think I'm going to be looking up a lot of encounter tables. A lot more than I would have thought. Orberg Gate. Does Orberg Gate have anything good? 
Because I feel like no, but also, you know, maybe. I know there's Psyduck here, which is interesting, but I'm not using a Psyduck. Platinum as Psyduck. Why does this look so good? Oh my god, hello. I should probably read this. You have a Pokecatch, but uh, you're, you're new, something like that. It's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. Oh! I guess this is Rock Smash. Each of these TMs contains the move Rock Smash. FYI, when you are you when you use a technical machine to teach... Yeah, it'll break. Yep, yep, yep. I've also added a new feature to your Pokecatch rookie trainer. The Hidden Moves app. What a great way of implementing HMs. Use Rock Smash from your Pokecatch, and a wild Pokemon will get rid of your bull of boulders on your path. But to use this hidden move in the field, you'll need first need the gym badge from Orberg City. I'm looking forward to seeing your growth. Nice. Very cool. Let's see how that interface is. Uh huh. Makes sense. Guessing, yeah, we can't go up there yet. We can still avoid these trainers if we wanted to. Is that going to have to be D-pad movement in the speedrun? I'm so curious. Wow. These battle backgrounds are fantastic. Like, they really, really did a very good job with these battle backgrounds. I'll battle you. I shall battle you. Yeah, we're getting some real diminishing returns in the EXP, so it's going to be interesting to see what level we're at for Roar, because Roar's not easy. You know, even though we uh, we do have our Piplup. Ah, phooey. I was going to say, look at the size of the dong on my Cricketune. Cool. That is a clutch crit, man. Very nicely times. We're going to practice that D-pad movement. D-pad movement is very interesting. We haven't had D-pad movement since Gen 6, so that's like very interesting that we have that now. Oh, perfect. A perfect victim for my Krikatoon. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Sorry, my fellow... Grass, buddy. I really like the idea of keeping Krikatoon through Gardenia, because Fury Cutter just sweeps the gym, honestly. Especially since we're plus attack. Plus attack is just so good with Krikatoon. Oh, look at that. We are 29 attack at level 11. That's really good. That's, like, really good. What a cute model. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, I'm so excited to hear the Orberg theme. Oh, my God. Underrated theme, just saying. Are you gonna bring me along? Orberg looks fantastic. It looks exactly what I would imagine a 3D Orberg to look like. Very rustic looking. Oh, I love the sound effects. Holy crap. It's so cute. Oh my god. Stardust! Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Not another item here? Interesting. You should give me something. Yeah, there we go. Tell you something else here. Now, what I'm really curious about is... Is there anything good on the route above us? But I feel like there's not. I really like the sound effects. That's a, like, super nice touch that, like, we didn't have before. Man, I love Onyx. I'm tempted to catch an Onyx. And, like, use Steelix. But I know that's, like, not the best thing to do. 
It's the mystery zone theme. Mystery zone theme. AKA generic route theme. Oh my God. All right, I'm going to appreciate this route while I look up. Nick, blast this. <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my favorite that I've heard of any song so far. This orchestral vibe, that bold drum in the background, almost like a bass drum. You got the snare as well with these clouds passing by. This is just an immaculate vibe. Like, wow. This is very good. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Wow. Holy moly. I am so excited to try the, uh... To try out the bike. I'm so curious how it feels. Wow. Sorry, Orberg. You got shafted compared to this, man. Not that the Orberg theme is bad at all. It's, it's nice. It really is quite nice. But, like, are you kidding me? Route 207. I mean, this is just absolutely incredible. I really like the clouds. The clouds are a very, very nice touch, in my opinion. We haven't had that in any Pokemon game, I don't think. On oh, the reflective floors. Man. You know, Ilka really did a good job with this game. From, from very early impressions, like... This game just has so much polish. Like, seriously. Pokemon fossils! Pokemon fossils! Oh, I want to use a Rampardos on this team, man. Oh, we need to we need to mine for Cranidos, man. We have to. I would love to do that, actually. <laughs> I talked to you. Did I heal? I did not. Might as well. We need to check out the center anyway. Then we need to find our boy Roark. The day theme is actually quite nice as well for the Pokemon Center. Yeah, let's do it. Does the mine have a different theme? I don't know if the mine has a different theme. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you know, let's check out that portion of Orberg after we do the mine. Let's break it up a little bit. Do the mine. Am I going crazy? That's a different theme, right? That's really good. Holy crap. Hold on. You know what? We will check out all this because I'm going to be running by all these people right now anyway. Alright. So we did all the outside people. We just need to do the inside people. Yeah, it's a different theme. I thought I was going crazy for a second. Dude. Orberg mine sounds so... So good. I think I'm gonna use my repel now. Kinda just feel like it. This feels like a good opportunity. I don't think I want anything down here. Oh, that's so good. That's like actually really nice. Where's my repel? Yeah. Nice X defense. Wow. Ah, 
I... Oh my god. This just captures such a vibe. That's like... That's wicked, man. Really good stuff. Holy moly. You know, I'm just gonna follow on Cerebi's Poke Earth through the, uh, the areas I'm in. Wow. Yeah, it looks like nothing of use for me. Eh. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, okay. Wait, this is not resisted? Cool, this maybe kills, honestly. Because of Fury Cutter getting stronger every turn. Nice. Very nice. Look at me grinding up a freaking Cricketune. I really evolved as a person, you know? This should do a decent amount still, honestly, even though it's Onyx. Because of it being third hit. Whoa! Oh my god! My Cricketune is a king! My Cricketune is an actual king. What the hell? Or queen! No! Queen Cricketune! Oh my goodness. Holy guacamole. Wow. Hmm. You know, okay. Cool. That was impressive. Taking down an Onyx with only uh, a third hit Fury Cutter without a crit. That's uh, that's very, very good. Shouts a plus attack, I'm sure. Rock smash. Watch out. Fallen boulders need to be smashed, so they are out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be moi! Cool. Nice patayon. Love a good patayon. Patayon, patayon, patayon. Bro, Onyx is kind of tempting, I'm not going to lie. I just love Onyx so much. Huh. See how much this will do. That does a good amount. <laughs> You know what? YOLO Heal Ball. If it catches, it's on the team. You get one try, buddy. That was a very simple decision. Alright, I am not, uh... I'm not hurt by this. I'm not offended.